You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today I am privileged to have with me a good friend, Carl Landerholm, who is the president of the Brockton Historical Society. Carl, good to see you. It is well. And fellow brother Mason. That's true. Okay? <laughs> you get the you get the pin to prove it. I got the rotary one on today, but we won't we won't go there. Carl, the Brockton Historical Society is a gem. It's a treasure. And full disclosure, I'm on the board, so yes. I'm gonna say that. But I got my love of history back in the day when I had David Carroll over at West, West. Middle School, yeah. West yeah. Junior High at the time. Yeah. He was the chair of the history department. And I had phenomenal history teachers, Robert Sullivan, Michael Lombardo, yeah. Peter Toomey, um, and David Carroll. And David Carroll is the one that gave me the love of the history of the Strand uh, Theater Fire. Awesome. Which you have a book with yes. you. That is the newest, hottest off the press That's book. Right. Hottest off the press Okay, book. and that is the Strand Theater Fire, the 1941 one. Brockton Tragedy and the Fallen 13. Okay. That's right. Every year, the fire department, the union, puts on a memorial mm -hmm. to remember that. It was the, the largest. 76th year. 76, so we were there for 75 when we had the oh, big yes. ceremony. But the book, which is written by James Benson, a local historian, it, with Nicole Casper, who's the archivist over at Stonehill College, That's true. okay, collaborated with the Stanley Bowman collection with the pictures. As well as the legitimate uh, background information by Kenny Galligan. There you go. You can't forget Kenny Galligan, can't the retired Kenny. fire chief, who's also on our board. Yes, he is. And he's also very involved in our beautiful fire museum that is part of the complex that is over at the homestead. We have the fire museum, Absolutely. we have the homestead, and we have the Marciano collection. A little bit of everything all under one roof. And it's all under a solid roof now yes. because we had roof issues, we had some building issues that have all been taken care of and with the very precious assets that we have over there. Yes. Now, we're trying to raise money, yes. okay? Um, I can't openly raise money because I'm a state employee and it's always fun. I couldn't even raise money for myself when I ran for office. <laughs> but nonprofits need to depend on money. That's and right. need to need to have members to pay dues, yep. but you got a, 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 an interesting event coming up. We were talking about it the other night at the meeting. Tell us about it. Well, that event is uh, a, a joint, not venture certainly, but a uh, a collaboration between the uh, Brockton Garden Club and the Brockton Historical Society. Compliments to Bob Martin. He has been uh, extremely active in getting a collection of books. And we've got over a thousand books, all of them great products. And on June 24th, that's a Saturday, mm -hmm. from nine o'clock in the morning until three in the afternoon, the books are going to be on the interior of the shoe museum so that if we have rain, it won't interfere with the uh, process. And if we have extra heat, for the day, yeah. be into at the end of the month, we have air conditioning in that room, so we're, we're double standard for a positive result. Oh, so a thousand books, that means I probably have to get another bookcase at home. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go to book sales. My wife is very tolerant, but uh, I think she's getting a little impatient with me. I, I can't go buy a book. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't, and if Bob got books, they're probably really good books. Yeah, okay. Very good. Um, Price range for the books? Are they? I, I know if you have a rare book, it would probably cost a lot more. That's but correct. But general range? Well, we were hoping for uh, $6 for uh, more than $2 a book. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if we had, uh, where a person wants multiple copies, yeah. then we'll arrange a price that uh, fits. Because it, this is a fundraiser right. for the, uh, not only us as a historical society, but the Garden Club draws a great crowd. And uh, we've over 250 plants up mm -hmm. there right now. And the uh, intent is to have a large tent out front mm -hmm. with three pop-ups so that the, uh, the shade, if it rains, the, uh, we've got it covered. We don't need a rain date. And if we have so many people there that you can't fit in the parking lot, you can park in the back in Melrose That's correct. Cemetery, and there's like a walkway over. There like is a, little, a walkway. Like little, little small bridge, kind uh, of. It's pretty substantial. Yeah. It really so, is. 
but people don't know that secret. Only if you're a member. We'll, we'll, we'll probably all back there <laughs> we'll and give, the, give up our spaces in the front for, for folks. Right. So um, the Historical Society depends on, it's an entirely volunteer organization. Yes. There are no paid staff, okay, no, no, um, right. which is part of the reason why we can't be open 24-7. But we have dedicated people that there's a tour coming up for the Kennedy School. Um, they're, they're, um, we'd love to have every school, but... It, you know, cutbacks in transportation and MCAS testing and all of that stuff all have of contributed it. to it. But we're open uh, first and third, third Sunday Sundays. from when to when? We are from one to four, but I would stay there if we had a crowd, which we had this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, an interesting, uh, certainly not a sidelight, but a gentleman who was with Rocky Marciano when he won the uh, second Walcott fight, and they were up in the hotel room, and Rocky was pretty badly beaten up. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to see his picture that was taken of him, along with uh, Nikki Sylvester, sure. who was a follower. And uh, we satisfied his need, and his family came from Maine, uh, Stoughton, Brockton, uh, down in the Hanover area, and out of New Jersey. So they were gathered together specifically to see the Rocky Collection. I will open the uh, society with just a simple phone call, which I have done uh, on this past Tuesday. A fellow from London is a boxing fanatic. And from Greensboro, South Carolina, I, the two of them came up. And I opened it up. Absolutely blew them away. So what number do they call if they want a private personal tour scheduled? What's the best number? Best number is my cell phone that's in my pocket. Okay. That's 508-521-5900. That's 5900. Which, which is the hotline. That's to get my to hotline. You. Um, Carl, um, anything you want to add? They gave me the two-minute queue. It's probably about one minute. So, okay. So well, you get about 45 seconds of that one minute. <laughs> I'll take it. In benefit of uh, seeing this, I have a 24-inch picture of this in my office. I had it taken back in 1978, and it shows the buildings, some of which are going to show in the pop-up village, as uh, Keith Pack is almost done. This will be done in uh, Nelson Playground. Right, right prior to that. Yes. So. Um, you're going to be there. There'll be copies of the books there. There'll be membership forms if people want to join the Historical Society. Absolutely. And uh, we have programs we'll bring on again because we're going to have an annual meeting. But just to recap, book and yard sale, Saturday, June 24th, 9 to 3, 216 North Pearl Street, which is the white building right off of Reynolds Memorial Exactly. Highway. Carl, thank you for coming in. Thank Always you. a pleasure. <laughs> You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.